Hey YouTube world, Mossman, back again with another review. This time something a little bit special, Masterpiece Grimlock. Uh, I'll get onto the figure in a minute, I'll just quickly have a quick glimpse at the box. Because I love these boxes. Um, as you can see, there it is, with all the lovely pictures. Quite, quite wide, wider than the Thundercracker one. And on the back you have pictures of him and what you get and some of the gimmicks but very nice box as always for the masterpiece figures and uh, now on to the least favourite bits about the figure that everyone hates um, I just thought I'd show you it with his cape and his stupid plate thing I'll give him blue eyes for this because he's a bit of a pansy so there you go um, but as you can see he's got his dicky bow tie thing on his tray and and that's it that's all you can say, the, you do have to twist the arm around the wrong way because there's a hole on the bottom of the hand that you plug the tray into but and the tray has three holes three pegs on the bottom that plug in and you have to plug all these things in but enough of this, let's take this horrible thing off bear with me There we go, that's off. Um, the other gimmick, just quickly that I'll show you, is, we all seen it on the pictures, is this helmet, and I've brought Compatron, Compatron along. Sorry I haven't got his head, I'm bidding on it at the moment, and his chest plate, but uh, that thing would plug, plug onto his head. So for size, to look at him as size, you can see that in dinosaur mode he's a fair size, he's bigger than Compatron. Um, I also brought <coughs> Grimlock along from the animated line just to show you size comparison as well. He's, um, he's a decent size in this mode, there's no complaints. The robot's a little bit smaller, which is the only problem I have with it, really. It's, um, it's got features in this mode. It's supposed to, it's got the wiggling tail where you, sorry I haven't took his dicky bow off. That's like on a peg that goes in that hole. Little peg here. Anyway, um, we can turn him into mean Grimlock now. He's got the mechanism where you wiggle the tail and his head goes backwards and forwards. He's got the eye changing colour thing, which I'll quickly do for you. There we go, he's now got red eyes. Um, there's another feature that says in the instructions that, that I haven't seen before is it's supposed to, when you push down on the body the legs the legs are supposed to bring the head up but it doesn't work, it works if you have the head up like that and you press it, it drops the head as you can see so I don't know if they put it in backwards or it's just not a very good um, gimmick or not but fully adjustable arms um, I like it when he's in this pose. You can ha he's very poseable. You can have his legs all in different angles, crouching, and you know he's he's a very poseable figure. I'm well pleased with it. Decent size as well. So there he is in his robot mode. It also comes with the book, you know, with the instructions for transforming them. And at the back, it shows different Grimlocks that have been out. Comes with a tech spec card the usual masterpiece things to transform it on camera it's going to be a little bit difficult because he's quite chunky and I've got to remember what to do right so let's, let's start by um, flipping the chest apart like so so you yeah, bring them back like that quite a lot of detail in inside as well um, fold his mouth up and bring his head back so you've got it all folded up on the back. I can hardly reach. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to bring up the body into place, like so. So you've got this big thing then. Then you want to separate the tail pieces and the main thing, and then swing out, swing it. Um, sorry. Then you fold. Fold this around and that will click into place. 
fold the tip of the tail in and then fold up that this panel here rotates around and that fills in the leg then you straighten up the leg rotate so do the same with this one bring out a bit like so um, fold that up till it clicks once you open the leg a bit more fold in the tail tip and then fold that in and then this bottom bit again just folds in and then you rotate the leg see it's a bit floppy this is quite big like this then you bring up the legs like you do on G1 Grimlock and then this waist bit pushes up in like that and we're nearly there he's got such good balance and you don't even have to worry about that and then rotate the arms around to the forward and then just turn it, open it this panel bring out the fists on both sides do the same with this one like so and basically there is MP Grimlock just fold the arms up to where you want them like so uh, I haven't took out the little tab on here that stops that stops the battery working yet I thought I'd do that in a minute but you won't be able to see the sword lighting up in this weather anyway it's too bright so there he is pretty cool I'll show you him next to um, Compatron just quickly see he's about, uh, about an inch taller from the heads no not even an inch it's about half inch um, there's his sword and his gun sword can go in this hand gun can go in this one they can either they can go in either hand there you go um, he's got a switch on the back of his head that changes his eyes from red to blue he's got loads of posability you can have him looking sorry you can have him looking up you know so you just just switch the switch on his back of his head to go blue again they are metallic paint not not light piping so just in case anyone was wondering but he's got um, loads of articulation it's unbelievable you could do loads of decent poses with him is it worth a hundred and something pounds I paid 109 it's now been put up to 129 because it's sold out so but for size I'd say no but for rare but you know for its what it stands for it, it's definitely it worth it you know plenty of posability um, yeah so I definitely recommend it to anyone that can afford it if you can still get hold of him I don't know if you will be able to still get hold of him He's, he was quite rare but it's a wonderful figure I can't wait to see it with all the rest of my figures because I haven't took it home yet when you pull the chest up, this Autobot sign comes up for it. You won't be able to see it on my camera. It's a bit dark. But very, very nice. I'll do a 360. There he is from the back. You can do the movie scene where he's flying in. Really nice. So there is my Masterpiece Grimlock review. Sorry it was a little bit quick. If you want to see anything else, just ask me. Uh, I'll try and uh, help you. You know, if you want to see it with any other figures or anything, I, I might do an update video. But uh, yeah, so you pull out this little plastic tab to get the lights to work. But I've leaving it in for now. So there is Masterpiece Grimlock, long-awaited figure. I'm so pleased I got it. I hope that everyone else has got one on their way, because you won't be, you won't be. What's the word? You won't be wrong. You won't be disappointed. That's the one. That's what I was looking for. So, there you go. Masterpiece Grimlock. Thanks for watching. I'll be back in soon with another review at the end of the week. Another new release that isn't quite out yet. And I've got managed to get some. So, stand by. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.